Hey guys, this is Muddy Water Missouri here. All right, we're about to go through all the fishing stuff that we're like our lures and tackle that we're going to be using in our upcoming videos this spring and summer because it's winter right now and we can't really do anything else. All right, this is my bass box. It's got all, like all my soft plastics, my crank baits, my rip baits, my jerk baits, all sorts of stuff. All right, so starting off with the soft plastics, got a couple swim baits, just unrig stuff. Um, Couple curly tail jigs, ribbon tails, paddle tails, all sorts of stuff. Got a couple rigged up little crawdads. Uh, rage tail, or not give rage tail. Give sorry. a good view of this one. The Savage, I think it's Savage Gear, makes these 3D craws, and they work really good. I rigged a couple of them up, Texas rig style. They, they, uh, the claws on them float, and the body has got a hollow air cavity in it, and it works pretty good for all sorts of stuff. All right, I'm a real big fan of these topwater poppers. A while back, I lost a, I lost one at our pond that we used to fish at. Good story behind that one. Yeah, that that sucked. They're all tangled up. So hold on just a second. But yeah, we're out of Kansas City here. We just like to do the fishing up around here. We plan this summer to do a couple fishing trips. Can't wait to record that and let you guys see how it's all gonna go. All right. <clears throat> This one is I don't I don't really know what brand it is. He gave it to me. It's a hollow popper, and it's got little I don't know if you can see it, but the rattles on the back, and the back of the tail right there, and it's got the little feather thing behind the hook. And that's a bloody minnow collar. Yeah. It's got the pattern on the top, like octagons and stuff. It looks pretty cool. All right, and then these are made by Rebel. I just got these this weekend. They are. <clears throat> Again, little poppers. I got the black color, and it's kind of shiny on the side, and black on the top. It's got the big eyes and the Hold mouth. Up. See if it'll focus on that. And lighting is a little strong. It's pretty uh -huh. reflective. And it's got the white on the side. And then I have the blue version of it. Same thing. When this color right here is the one that he lost. Yeah, so. and it was an older one that my dad had given me, so I was pretty upset when I broke all right, this is one that I got out of my dad's tackle box when I was a little kid. It is a swim bait, but it's the old style that Rapoli used to make. <clears throat> Those are all tangled up. I'm sorry. And that's just a one joint wooden body swim bait. Nothing too crazy, but it works. It works. It's probably from like 1980 something. Still got the original plastic on it. It's all paint. I think it's made out of balsa. Yeah. And you got the newer Rapala ones. That these I don't know what they're made out of, but they work really good for bass on little farm ponds and stuff. And they get you guys should if you're watching these, you should know how those work. And here's the older version of that one that I just showed you. They usually work pretty good. All right, <clears throat> spinner baits. I'm not a big fan of these, so I don't have a whole lot of them. But I rigged up a, I think it's called a, I want to say Indiana blade, with the little paddle tail swim bait. I hooked it up on a weighted J hook, and then for a little panfish and smaller bass, I have this. It's a double tail grub with a Colorado blade. That works pretty good. And you'll see more spinnerbait action out of me because yeah, I'm more, more of a preferable fan of those. to them. All right, and I like, I've taken a recent liking to Zoom's brush hogs. So here's one that I Texas rigged. I'm going to be doing a tackle warehouse unboxing where I get two packages of these. I like to hook those up with a bullet weight on top of the knot because with the weight you can just flip it out. And that usually works pretty good for bigger bass that are in heavier cover. And my crankbaits, this one I don't, I found this at Smithville Lake at the spillway that somebody had just left there, and it's working pretty good. It's got the rattles inside of it, and you can't see it because it's not transparent, but it's got the neon yellow color on the side with the red gill and the purple on the top. It's kind of purplish blue. Give it a little shake, see if you guys can hear that. Yeah. And then this one was one of the ones that I found at the spillway. They're all tangled up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, just kind of pull one out, but there you go. This one I got at Rogers, which is a sporting goods store around here, and the, it's kind of falling apart. The tail, 
Trouble hook is missing a hook. This one's got, I don't think this one has rattles on it. It's just a brown swim bait with the tiger stripes on the side. It's got red on the bottom. This is a medium diving crank bait. The first one I showed you guys was a, like a more of a deeper diving one. The next one I'm going to show you guys is a Rappler Rattle Trap that I got at Rogers too. This one, it's, I got it a while ago. Looks like a little bass, if you guys can see that. You got the little cavity on the head and stuff. And it rattles. Alright, and then these are made by Storm. They're the Wild Eye Swim Baits. This one's a Paddle Tail Bluegill. I got a pack of three of these a while back with the treble hook on the top, and it's got a big worm hook on the top that's I think it's all rigged together with the swim bait weight on it and here is their storm wild ass shad and that one's worked pretty good they're decent quality baits but I did have one bass catch the back it just bit the tail it didn't get the hook and it ripped off the tail and that I couldn't use it after that obviously and <clears throat> uh, just a ribbon tail worm I think this is Petrified. made by, mm, I don't know, when I go through my soft plastics, I'll show you, but it's just pretty long ribbon tail. I count one of these down, and it's in my other tackle box, but I'm going to use that for the smaller bass and the smaller ponds and stuff too. And then, if you remember what... This is a yum frog, a soft plastic frog. You can rig it whatever way you want. And I like to, these work best, I think, Texas rigged. It's yeah. got the red eyes and yellow spots. It's got little paddle tails for its feet. And it swims along the top of the water like any other frog would. It floats. And just got the rest of the hooks in here. That's that's it for his bass box. Now he'll move on to that pan right. fishing box. Personally, I like to pan fish better than I like bass fishing. I don't know. It's just more fun to me. Um, here, I'll get out the full packs of them. We got a bunch of good ponds up here with crappie, crappie bluegill, bluegill, bluegill is all kinds of stuff. Really, really prevalent around where we're at. <clears throat> you can catch some pretty decent sized ones if you know the right areas to look for them. Too. Um, Mr. Strike King makes these. They're called Mr. Crappie, and they're paddle tail lures. Come in a pack like that. And these they're are relatively one. cheap too. You can get them for cheap. Yeah, this one pack of fifteen was three bucks. It's a little paddle tail grub. It's got the blue on the bottom, black on the top. They, I, w I rigged that up with the black jig head, and I'm thinking that's probably going to work pretty good. All right, next we got Big Bite Baits makes these purple and neon yellow ribbon tail grubs. And I was going to spray paint that like a darker purple, spray paint the, the lid, and I'm thinking that's probably going to work pretty good. Too. And then these, I don't remember the brand name, but it's a white um, ribbon tail grub, and it's got the I don't I don't really know what those are called on the sides. The ribs. Yeah. And they came heavily salted in the pack they were in. Like it's all that's you touch it and you get salt all over your hands. These were just little crickets that I got for really cheap. I'm thinking they're probably going to be pretty good just to sit on the top and kind of flick it around. Because the bluegills see that, especially around summertime when we fish. Because <clears throat> we have a lot of grasshoppers around here. And they'll occasionally jump into the water and the bluegill will just grab them up real quick. Alright, next, Yum makes these beaver tail grubs. And they're really salty too. And I, they were really cheap. They were like a buck for a pack of like 20 of them. So I just grabbed those thinking they're probably going to work pretty alright. Now these are, I don't know how they're going to work because they're pretty old, but they're hair tail jigs. And these came out of my dad's tackle box too. And hair tails, they don't, you, you can, can use them for bass, you can use panfish, bass, fish, all kinds I know of crappie stuff. like them. And they work really good because not a lot of crappie have seen them because not, not a whole lot of people use them anymore. More People are more... They're liking they prefer the latex and the plastic ones instead of the hair tails anymore. Alright. And that, the white and pink, it's made by Yum. Here's a package of them. Um, and the blue ones that I just showed you guys are 
made by Bobby Girl and Crappie Baits. <clears throat> and these were, it was fairly expensive for how much there is. It's a 12 count and it was four bucks. So I'm hoping they hold up to their name. Yeah, they should be all right. I uh, just got the stringer and then some weights, some bullet weights and some split shots. All right, moving on to the full packages of the soft plastics. Those ribbon tails were made by Riverside. There's, these are pretty old. I don't remember when I got them, but I know they've been there a while. Um, those green paddle tail swim baits I've been showing you guys are, I want to say they're made by yeah. Swim and Shad. Yeah. I got these in a big old pack of them, so I shouldn't be running out of those anytime soon. And uh, here's the pack of those Zoom brush hogs. I like those a lot. There's a 12 pack of, I think they're the baby brush hogs in 12 pack of them. Bluegill the, color. Yeah, it'd be a bluegill color. All right, then I have my just box of miscellaneous stuff like hooks, my crawdad attractant, um, pliers, weights. Stuff like that. Just the stuff you might need. Got the Gerber fire starter. Gerber knife, old knife, pliers. Ooh, you can really smell that crowded stuff. Yeah, it's uh, strong. Fish stick stuff. And this is like, this is strong stuff. It's worth the money. You like spend. I open the box and you can smell it. It's not open. It comes in like it looks like a little chapstick tube. It's made by Kevin Van Dam, and this is all made in the USA stuff. So got some of that off Tackle Warehouse. Thought we might want to try it. Some more of those bluegill and storm stuff. Got these old eagle claw hooks. They're size six trebles. And you'll see a lot of cat fishing off this channel. We love to catch some cats. I just got these not too long ago. These are my favorite for Texas rigging. Is this style of hooks? I got my got to. Um, just got a bunch of old eagle claw snow hooks. And yeah, he's got some snells. And these I like to use for, I just, I'll just cut the fishing line off of them and tie them up with like a worm with a bobber. And I have the smaller version of that. They're the golden color too. And those work well if you're really not feeling tying on another hook or something. You can, you can just use the fishing line as a header. As a header. Um, and just got a around. small bobber, some chapstick, more pliers, and some strike all matches in case you ever get stuck. All right, now moving on to what else is in my tackle bag. I got some. Berkeley makes these power baits. I haven't tried these before. I've seen them. I've been itching to use them because I'm thinking they're probably going to work pretty good. I've seen videos on the internet, and they, like, especially these with the chroma glow on them, the scent disperses, and you can, like, the fish will be able to see that, and when they come up and smell it, they're going to be all over your bait. All right, I have some Zebco 30 pound test. It's monofilament. Got a whole bunch of that. Don't probably won't need any of that anytime soon. Never have too much fish in mind. Trilene 10 pound test. I put that on my smaller bass rod and my panfish rod. I think I had some spider co line that I gave to him with a 17 pound test that might be on my older bait caster. Got these just bobbers, got two of them. Big old metal stringer, and just in case any of us gets cut, first aid kit. And then show them what kind of bag you're running out of here. I'm running a wicked tackle bag. It came with here. three different boxes. So far, it's worked pretty good. None of the zippers are jacked up or anything. It's got a, it's got two pockets on the side, and then that one in the front is where I keep all my soft plastics, in case you want to wear it like a. Like a backpack or something shoulder. like that. Put it on your shoulder. Just carry it around all day. And how much did you pick that for? It was $12. $13. $12.99. It, it worked well. So. Yeah, I got that on sale. All right. All right, so now we're going to go to my tackle backpack. and we'll put all I've got, stuff. Yeah, he'll put all this stuff up and I'll go into mine. I've got the Wild River. I think it's one of their cheaper ones because they go pretty expensive. But it's got the light installment up here. It's got... Three different color lights. It's got the LED, brighter LED, and green. And that as well for it's efficient in the dark or whatever. Works well. And then, so let's get into it. Down here at the bottom, we've got, I've got four Plano 3500s, I think. 
and this is where I keep all the stuff that I use more prevalently and often and whatnot. So this we've first, got more stuff. We're just yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff. This is just our daily. stuff that we use when we go out daily and stuff. This first box is gonna be my top water. I've got a Super Scoop Junior in here, the bone color, and those look good. I've used it a couple times, had some luck with it, and can't wait to use it more. I've seen plenty of videos of people having good luck with those, so can't wait. And I've got a live target frog top water popper here. You got a bunch of those, didn't you? Yeah, I'll get to those in a second. Then. It looks good because there's a lot of frog ponds up here by where we live that we like to fish out of, so that should work well. Yeah, all the farm ponds that are just loaded with yeah. big old honking bass that like to eat the blue, bluegill and bullfrogs. And then I've got a little top water popper again, bloody minnow <clears throat> color. Looks good. I haven't got to use this as much as I'd like to. Can't wait to get it out there. And I've got a small hula popper. It's a little guy. And then a bigger size of that, the um, bigger frog pattern hula popper. And that's my top water box. Now I'm going to my quick bait box. I've got plenty of stuff in here. I've got this guy right here. It's a Rapala crawdad style crankbait. I've got, I think this was a normal minnow, something like that, crankbait. It's got the rattles. Sounds good. And this is a, I think it's a, want to say a Lucky Craft. I couldn't tell you the color. I think it's purple minnow or Tennessee Shad, one of the two. And it's another little crankbait here. And I've got another one of those, different color, the chartreuse and red stripe black back. Then I have, stick myself here, a sexy shad pattern backstabber. Can't wait to get that guy out there. And then I've got three lipless crankbaits. I got like a fire tiger type of color. A I think this was the royal purple color. And then I've got a I think this was a Tennessee shad type color too. Looks good. Can't wait to get that guy out there. Just lock that box up. Next box, I got all my jigs in, trailers and whatnot. All them rigged up. Got them all rigged up and ready to go. I have be good for bass. All kinds of colors in here. Football and flipping jigs are the ones I prefer, so that's what I've got in here. Got deep blue color with a little pack of chunk trailer. Kind of hard to see, but he's down in there. And I've got a watermelon type color. It's like watermelon a seed. watermelon seed type thing with a little the orange on, on the front. trailer match. And I've got mm -hmm. what's this guy? Another football jig with a one of the rage craws, rage tail craw trailer back on there. And then this is a this came in one of the lucky tackle boxes. I got the <coughs> double hook jig. It's got a frog hook on here. It's dual hook. It's got a little pack of chunk down as a trailer. So that's good. I've had luck on that guy. Then the uh, orange type of color. I haven't put a trailer on this guy yet. Just a little flipping jig. And I've got another one of those with a young zoom chunk trailer on there. Just crawl pattern. And I've got a kind of like a green pumpkin color with another Rage crawl on the back of that. And Those are scented, like, I think they have coffee on them. Yeah, they've got coffee scent. And this is, this got a Cabin Creek Baits crawl as a trailer. And it's got little ribbons up here by the jig head, stir up the mud and make it look good. I'll close that. Here, I'll put the stuff in. And we'll move on to my hollow body frogs. Let's crack it. 
So I've got this guy, big old field mouse type, and it's real big, so I'm not sure what will come after this guy, but I mean, as you can see, it's here in my hand. And in comparison to my hand, it's full length, and it's got weedless rigged on there. And then I've got all the same color frogs. They're the bullfrog color, and this is the biggest one that I have. And I've got the medium sized one. And then I've got the come here. I've got the small sized. Just depends on how big the frogs are in the pond and all that. Now we're gonna move on to this over. We're gonna move on to just stuff that I've got in my bag in general. So one of these side pockets here, I've got another one of these fish sticks, except this is the shad scent instead of the cross scent. I've got a couple screamers down in here. I've got them. Up top here, I've got just a couple bobbers in here in case we need them. Flip it around. On this side, I've got here, this backpack comes with a thing to hold your pliers or whatever tool you like to use, and then you can clip on like an ID or something like that. ID, fishing license knife whatever you want to clip onto this little guy it's removable you can hook whatever you want onto him put him back on here and in this top pocket I've got a towel just in case hands get dirty holding the fish or muddy or something just hands off. The fish can swipe out and down here I've got 50 pound braid of the Berkeley big game I think it's 350 yards. Works well. I've got it spooled up on one of my rods. And I'm, let's see. Is that a catfish rod? Yeah, on my big catfish rod. And this got comes with a little clip. Put wherever you want on that. And up top here, in this top pocket, if I can get it open, <clears throat> I've got. This is just a little thing that I set up in a little box that I got one time. A bunch of little panfish lures. It's for pan fishing, like just if it's you want to go, and go box. a little on the go, yeah. Grab it and got everything you need. Got pre rigged stuff. Weights for drop shot and it's got the hooks and other drop shot specific hooks. In Small here. hooks are like a necessity for panfish boxing. Oh, yeah. Don't don't get me wrong, the the grubs and stuff work great for pan fishing, but worms, it, that's just number one for them. Can't go wrong with the night crawler. Now I'm going to go through all of my soft plastics. Got yeah, quite a few of them. Uh, yeah, I've got a good amount. So I'll start here with the. I'm going to put those up in there. Yeah, you should do that. I've got the Arky. The original jigs, uh, the jigs that fish love to bite. It's in a little ribbon tail minnow shape. I've got one of those rigged up in my pan fishing box, but I've had luck on those. I've caught small bass and little creek fish out of them and stuff. And then I've got my Rage Craws, the Rage Tail. Strike King makes them real good. I've got them in three different colors. They've got the coffee scent on them. I've got Z-Man, uh, green pumpkin, little worms for finesse Ned rigging. I don't know if any of you have tried that, but <clears throat> looking forward to doing that. I've got some Sculpin Hypertails. They're from Jewel. I have one of those Texas rigged right now. Kind of hard to see. They're good looking, though. Looks like little gobies. Yeah. And I've got Powerbait, Berkeley, some Cinco's, big weighted worms, wacky rig, whatever. Yeah. Gambler, the Ugly Otters. I've got one of those ripped up on Jig Head, one of my tackle boxes. The Cabin Creek Crawdads that you saw as a trailer on one of my jigs in like a green pumpkin type color. I've got Big Bite Baits, little pre rig kind of like grasshoppers or something along those lines. I've got more Strike King Rage Tail. These are the Rage Toads though. And that's in like a black and red color they also have coffee scent 
I've got Zoom. This is a dark colored salamander that I have. For creature bait. Murkier water and the other creature bait. Texas rigging. Uh, <clears throat> the salamanders do real good during the spawn. And I've got these uh, Strike King chunk trailers. Just picked those up not too long ago. Saw one of those in the back of one of my jigs. And I've got Yum. These are a uh, goby bait. Paddle or they're ribbon tail goby fish creature bait. Something like that. Havoc. I've got the Havoc pit bosses. I've got ribbed up on the jig head with a weight. And this is a black and reddish color. I remember those. I'm missing it. I think, they do. I think they're like a garlic type scent. And these are the little net bait pack of chunks. Good for trailers and break them up on a little hook. And these I got, I have a Lucky Tackle box one time. They were, I don't remember what brand they were, but they're hand poured. Latex. Yeah, latex, hand poured. Finestra baits, kind of. Something like that. You can rig them however you want, but they've got all kinds of uses. And then this is also from Cabin Creek. It's a little salty spider parts. It's got this little thing you can put on a jig as like the skirt, and then it's got a little guy that you can use as a trailer right here. And let me show you a better view. This is a little skirt type thing. And this is the little trailer, little craw type thing. So this is, uh, these are more zoom salamanders. These are the blue, start, dark blue chartreuse tail color. A little bit bigger than the black ones I showed you. Looking forward to using those during spawn. And I've got bonehead tackle. These are made in the USA. These are just little ribbon tail worms. Yeah, those are with lucky the, tackle box. Yeah, this came out with lucky tackle box too. And they got the ribbed sides and little ribbon tail worms. And as you can see, a lot of the stuff we fish with is darker color because up here. Got the muddy water. Yeah, obviously muddy, that's the name. murkier water. So, gotta make sure the fish can see it. But that is all the tackle and lures and everything that we plan on using this upcoming spring and summer. All right, I kind of want to talk about the unboxings that we're gonna be doing. I ordered a mystery tackle box because that's I, I kind of like those better, and gonna be getting those off and on. And I got a I think that's shipping out January tenth. And I got a luck or tackle warehouse order shipping out January sixth. That is, I think it's not not a big order, but I got a couple things. And I think I got two Zoom brush hogs. I think one of them is Okeechobee Craw color, and the other is like um, I think it's like a dark June bug color. And I got these things made by Evolve. I think they're the Micro Viber Grub, and they're they kind of look like leaves from the top, which is why I was kind of skeptical to get them. But I got the neon green color, and I'm thinking they're probably going to be good for the creek fish that we catch for live bait when we go fish up at Smithville, <clears throat> because they they go through the water kind of like that, and I'm thinking they work pretty good. I'll show you guys the video, like I'll put the link to it when I do my unboxing, but just stay tuned for those. And I, as well, order stuff off Tackle Warehouse all the time. You'll see unboxing coming from me, and I have a Lucky Tackle Box subscription that I get monthly getting ready to upgrade to a bigger box per month so my box ships january 10th as well and we'll probably do a group like a unboxing of them and then when he gets the mystery tackle box we'll go and do the slam for you guys so stay tuned we got all kinds of stuff upcoming all right cool let's catch you guys on the north side